Have you ever had a super beard hair? I'm talking about one that seems way thicker than the others, almost like there are several hairs that are fused together. Well, if you know what I'm talking about, you, my friend, have experienced Pili Multi Gemini. Now, I did do my due diligence on the pronunciation here. I kind of like to make fun of myself, how I pronounce things and Americanize things on this channel. But this one I wanted to get right. So I reached out to a local dermatologist who helped me and I sent messages out to every single person that I could have find attached to any studies. And one gentleman did get back to me from New York and he said it is Pi Li as compared to what is commonly said with, I believe other people say P Li. So it is Pi Li. Now this is something that is very rare unless you have a beard. The more and more we are learning, this is very common amongst beardsmen. It is seen somewhat in infant children, and it can be seen in anybody on any part of their body, but again, extremely rare. But as we are starting to study beards more and more and more, we're like, oh, wow, this is pretty common amongst many different cultures. So it's kind of interesting to have that thought. Now, if you look this up, it seems like one of those topics where there's not a lot of information. If you Google it, you're going to find a couple of articles that just kind of regurgitate the same information. That's one of the flaws of Google. If you actually dive into the peer-reviewed medical journals, there's a lot of really good information out there. The main study I found is out of Spain, but there is cooperation between medical universities in Spain, Italy, South Korea, Poland, and the US. So I'm going to tell you guys ways to be able to treat this. I'm going to tell you even more information about it and even some random facts at the end. Before I let you know what is causing this, if you enjoy content like this or appreciate this video in particular, it would mean the world to me if you considered subscribing to this channel and hitting a thumbs up to show that you enjoy this video. It costs you absolutely nothing but can entirely change this platform, so thank you guys. So what is causing the Pi Li Multi Gemini? It is a cluster of hairs that are emerging from a single hair follicle. This is happening deep below the surface where you have these different shafts, these different strands of hairs that are coming together and they are leaving a single hair canal. Normally you have one hair, one hair canal. Well, we know that the cause of this is the depth in which these hairs are coming together. Now this is unusual and what is causing that depth? Why is it the follicle? Why is the base, the cluster deeper than normal? We don't know. There is no doctor, there is no study that has been able to find it yet. The only thing they are letting us know is that genetics may play a role, AKA in the medical industry, when they don't know something, they're like, well, it probably has to do with genetics. But beards are more popular now than they ever have been. And I'm hoping with that popularity, more effort, more money, more studies are going to go into this. And maybe we'll get an answer of why those clusters are developing so deeply and we're getting these super hairs. To treat this, do not pluck the hair out. I never recommend plucking out hairs, but especially in this situation. This is happening because those cluster of bulbs or hairs are happening so deep below the surface of your skin. If you're trying to pluck them out, you are likely not going to get the entire hair. You're not going to get that base or the root out. So simply leave it alone. Enjoy it. Feel it. Show your wife if you must. The true treatment for this with the information we have right now is just good old fashioned healthy habits. Drink plenty of water, exfoliate, wash, use good quality products. That's all we have. Now, if that hair is emerging and you have that super shaft and then it's splitting into several smaller hairs, go ahead and trim below where the split is, right? If you have split ends, we always know you have to trim them. There's no difference here, even though this isn't exactly a split end because they are actual different hairs that are in that single strand. It's a crazy concept, but just simply where it starts to break, where it starts to split, clip it, trim it right below that point. No harm, no foul, but do not pluck it out, please. I've seen too many videos and pictures of really bad situations that have happened because of that. If you have coarse and curly hair, you are more prone to pain and problems from this condition. This would be cultures like African American beards. Now, if you are experiencing pain or problems or other complications because of the Pi Li Multi Gemini, I highly recommend looking up an apple cider vinegar rinse. Now, th that does not work for my beard because I do not have that coarse and curly hair. 
what's gonna happen is it's not gonna fix this condition. Those are not gonna go away, but what it will do is help with the pain and help with the problems that come about as a result of this. So there are several videos, several articles out there that could really help with the process of creating the rinse, how to use it, and all of that. I highly recommend scouring through YouTube to go find those videos. I don't have one myself, because again, the pH level is too harsh for my skin and my beard, but it will work for a lot of you out there that are watching this video. One important thing that I learned while researching for this video is there is an entire world, a niche that is dedicated to the enjoyment of watching or participating in plucking hairs. I truly had absolutely no idea. The amount of information that you can find about this condition, there's not a ton, right? I kind of covered everything. The amount of videos that you can find of people plucking out these hairs is outrageous. I never knew. I think it is kind of disgusting for myself, but I'm not knocking anybody that enjoys it. But viewers, beware. If you go on a little trail of trying to find information here, prepare yourself for some interesting thumbnails, and I do not recommend clicking on them unless you're into that stuff. Let's wrap this up with some help and feedback from you guys. Have you ever found a super beard hair? Let us know what your experience was like. Did you have pain? Did you have problems? Me personally, I never had a resemblance of pain. I just found the hairs and was like, this is super cool. Let me do some research on it and tell the people. Or are you on the other side? This is the first time you've ever heard of it. Please leave that down as a comment below. I would love to hear from our sample size of beards. Maybe we can get several thousand of you to say, yes, I have had this. No, I haven't. And maybe who knows, this will be like the most comprehensive sample size survey that's out there on the topic. If you have questions, please let me know. If you have anything to add on, I would love that as well. Thank you guys for watching today. Dancy bearded, stay bearded, and stay positive.